For more than 40 years of production, the name Golf has become a household name, and this happened almost at the very beginning, with the appearance of the second generation. More recently, the eighth generation has already debuted, but today we will talk about the sixth, which is very popular in the secondary market. The Golf I has traditionally had many body modifications, three and five door hatchbacks, station wagon and Golf Plus high roof hatchback, as well as coupe and convertible. The sedan, which appeared in 2010, is a separate model. The Ukrainian market is dominated by dealer cars. Golf Fi has become technically more complex, but its simple versions are distinguished by excellent maintainability. The Volkswagen Golf Fi was equipped with four-cylinder gasoline engines of 1.4 liters, 80 horsepower, 1.6 liters, 102 horsepower, and turbocharged 1.2, 105 horsepower, 1.4, 122 and 160 horsepower, as well as 2 liter. 210 and 271 horsepower, installed on the charged versions of the GTI and our turbo diesels are represented by 2.0 liter engines, 140 and 170 horsepower. Gearboxes, mechanical 5 and 6 speed, as well as a robotic 6 speed DSG transmission with two clutches operating in an oil bath, and a 7 speed dry clutch. In addition to front wheel drive versions, there are modifications with a 4x4 transmission. Golf Fi in all respects set the tone for his classmates. This also applies to the equipment, which was quite generous. In addition to ABS, 6 airbags, electric front windows and heated side mirrors, the basic version of the trendline Ukrainian Golf Fi included air conditioning. The comfort line version was supplemented with alloy wheels, rear electric windows and velar upholstery. The Highline variant additionally provided for a trip computer, 16-inch alloy wheels, leather-wrapped steering wheel and gear shift lever, and front sports seats. All modifications of the Golf Vi are present on the secondary market, both dealer versions and cars imported from Europe and even from America. The base 1.6-liter engine is considered the most hassle-free. In entry-level trim levels, it was paired with a 5-speed manual. In terms of reliability, this version of the Golf Vi is the most win-win. The motor is unconditionally reliable and durable. It is only necessary to update the timing belt in time, the service life of which is 120,000 km. From Ukrainian fuel on older versions, Lambda probes, mass airflow sensors, and occasionally the catalyst fail. Popular turbo engines with direct injection of 1.2, 105 horsepower, and 1.4 liters, 122 horsepower, are noticeably more expensive to operate, and there are more problems with them than with the base one. These motors are demanding on fuel quality, which is why candles and ignition coils burn, oxygen and mass airflow sensors do not work well. Such engines are afraid of overheating, so the cooling system should be monitored strictly. Due to the violation of the thermal regime, there were cases of failure of turbines and even burnout of pistons. Turbo diesels with the common rail system are very reliable, but demanding on fuel quality, which puts the fuel pump and injection nozzles at risk. In the transmission, both DSG boxes create problems. By 80,000 km, a 6-speed clutch package will need to be replaced, on the 7-speed it will happen even earlier. Clutch replacement is often done at the same time as a dual-mass flywheel. In the suspension to 60,000 km, the stabilizer struts and thrust bearings wear out. The most popular are petrol 1.6 and 1.4 liters turbocharged. The aspirator is trouble-free and unpretentious, and the 1.4 turbo is more capricious in operation and consumes a lot of oil after 100,000 km. Diesels are reliable and inexpensive to maintain. On a manual gearbox, oil seals begin to sweat by 100,000 km, bearings may need to be replaced. In the DSG, the hydraulic valve block wears out by this time. At risk is the dual-mass flywheel on powerful versions of the Golf Vi. The front suspension with McPherson struts will not have any unexpected costs. Even consumables such as stabilizer struts and bushings serve 60,000 km. Approximately the same amount was released to the support bearings of the shock absorber struts. In steering, the rack is considered non-repairable, dealers change it as an assembly. The rear suspension will require attention at 80,000 km, when you have to update the struts and stabilizer bushings. The remaining parts, levers and their silent blocks, withstand twice as much. Shock absorbers wear out by 120,000 km. In the electrical equipment, the illumination of the rear license plates on the fifth doors of the station wagons is periodically buggy. There were cases of failure of seat heating and electric parking brake. Quite often, the dipped beam bulbs of the headlights and dimensions, as well as the parking brake, burn out. 